Hey guys, Rip the Rage here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome back to Chuck and Susik. Uh, and this is Chuck and Susik hit the club. Uh, so yeah, I'm recording this back to back with all the games. So I'm gonna record this, and then I'm gonna record the last one in the series, which is um, something weekend, little weekend, something like that. But this is the third in the series, and um, this time we actually have credits though. So. Uh, this is cool. So the game is by Chucky Paluki, if you don't know what all the Chuck and Sussex games are. And the music is from Play On Loop. Uh, so this is also got credit to like some of the guys that do some of the writing, I guess. It says, Wonderful Plant Pun Goblins. So I'm guessing these are like some of the writers that help out with the jokes and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and enter. Would you make a great goblin? If yes, fantastic! Chuck, come look at this. What's this? I can be a goblin! What does that even mean? I don't know. Can't hard to find out, though. If you say so. Chuck is, like, so, so depressing. Oh, shit. I want to become a goblin! I'm going to try and keep up with dialogue here. Oh, it's still click dialogue. That's nice. Ah, excellent. You got my flyer. You want to be a goblin, Wiggles? Heck yeah! I'd make a great goblin! You are looking at a prime goblin material. I was born to be a goblin! But you're a cat, though. Oh! This isn't him saying it. This is... Oh, wow. We actually have lots of choices this time. Usually you only get, like, a, hey, ask him this or do this thing. But now we got, like, three choices. I was born to be goblin, you looking at prime goblin. Heck yeah, I'd make a great goblin. Heck yeah, I'd make a great goblin! I like your enthusiasm. There's just a couple of things you'll have to do before you can join this club. Actually, make that three. Eh? Since when was it three? Oh, it's got to be the three trials. It's just one of those things. Three trials it is! The three trials. The three trials. Really? One of those things? So you're just poking fun at the whole rule of the, the, the whole, like, threes thing? Okay. We are quite exclusive. Very exclusive. We take goblin role-playing very seriously. Okay, so what do I need to do? The first task is to prove you can be destructive. Deface or destroy something significant with some goblin flair. Okay. Wh okay. What else? Goblins are sneaky and crafty. We want you to steal an item from someone. Okay. I, th I think I can do that. What's the third thing? Actually, he needs cheering up. You just need to make me laugh. Being undead makes him a bit blue sometimes. I'd say being undead actually improved my sense of humor. Anyway, complete these three tasks and you can join our roleplay club. We meet on Fridays to play Journey to the Goblin Ore. These three tasks make up the pillars of goblinity. Destruction! Thievery! And finally, Tom Fuller. <laughs> Actually, we'll keep track of how you're getting on. Best of luck. Good luck, trainee goblin. Okay, so now I can actually move. Oh god, look at his little feet go. <laughs> look at they, they just go up and down. <laughs> okay, I love my chest here. Oh, I have an inventory now. That's so cool. Okay, so can I talk to them again? Oh god, how do I? How do I even? Right click, look at, use, or talk. Look at. It's actually. He's a zombie! Hey, well, we don't use the Z word. Sorry, this is actually. He's undead. Much better. Oh god, I just combined actually and. Oh god, I just combined actually and, and Hebel. I was looking at Hebel. God. Okay, uh, what can I. What can I talk to him? Hey! Good evening. Tell me again about three goblins. Okay, I'm good for now. Okay. Happy goblining. What about, uh, Hebel? It's Hebel! Hey. 
Forget about it. <laughs> the neighborhood's worst barman. Eh, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, can I talk to him? Hey ya! Hey Wiggles, how's it go? Ugh. Hey Wiggles, how's goes things? Is Journey to Goblin War really that good? Is Journey to Goblin War really that good? It's a lifestyle. You'll understand if you play. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Keep on noodling. <laughs> He's just this big noodle cat. I love it. Um, can I use him? I don't think so. Okay. Um, keep those spaghetti arms back. <laughs> God. But you just told me to keep on noodling. What if I want to noodle you? Oh, whoa. Scene's moving. Hey, it's Min. What up, Min? Oh, please tell me um, Tex is going to be in here somewhere. I like Tex. Let's see. Slot. Ooh, wait. Slot machine. Hold on now. Let me use this and look at it. Ooh, it's a slot machine. Okay. Talk to it. I don't think it's very talkative. You would take. I'll need some money to put in if I want to play. Okay. Um. Oh, steal money from them and then put it in the slot machine, maybe? I don't know. Lost and found. There's posters over here. Can I look at the posters? Let's see here. It's a wall covered in posters. Come see the circus. We just acquired a lion. Legally. <laughs> nice throwback to the first game. Nice. I don't think so. Okay. Can I talk to him? Don't seem very talkative. All right. There's Min. Can I look at Min? It's Min. Hey. She is always wearing that lovely earring. Hmm. Oh, earring. I don't think so. Min earring. No, I can't get the earring from her? No, I can't. Okay. Apparently not. Oh god, okay, stop with the stop with the inventory, please. Thank you. Uh okay. I can't use I, I can't talk to her. Uh here we go. Let's talk to her then. Ah, fuck. Talk. There we go. Hey Min! Hey, Slosig. So I see you have a nice earring there. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I am here recruiting for the psychic association. What is the psychic What is the psychic association? The Neighborhood Psychic Association is a non-profit organization run by some of the most powerful psychic minds on the island, namely myself, because I am alone and I am sad. Please join me. <laughs> I would know. I'm head of the board. Actually, here. Take this as token of my thanks for your interest in the psychic arts. Oh, thanks, man. Um, what is it? It's a coin blessed with protective energies. It's good luck. Ah, thanks! Okay. How's recruiting going? How is, uh, recruiting going? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Hebel told me I'm not allowed to recruit in the bar and refuses to serve me. Also, no one has signed up. <laughs> That's not about the Psychic Association. Sure. Okay. Uh, nice earring. So I see you have a nice earring there. I do! Thank you for noticing. It's beautiful. No, yes, I get it from Grandmama in Old Country. It's, it's wonderful. What about it? Can I have it? I need it to join the club. Can I borrow it for a little while? Can I have it? <laughs> Whatever for? Hebel and Axley said I need to steal an item from someone in the bar. Oh, well. They really are making you jump through hoops. I tell you what. I'll make you deal. I will happily lend my earring to a fellow purveyor of the psychic arts. So I shall... So I have to prove to you I have psychic abilities? And join the Psychic Association. Yeah. I've got a quota to hit. That's the only way to lend it to me? Yep. Well, I suppose I've done stranger things. Like what? What the fuck have you done that's stranger than that? <laughs> Excellent. I'd be waiting. Okay. So I have, in order to get the earring from her, gotta like prove that I'm psychic. About that earring. Are you feeling any psychic energy? I can talk to ghosts. I can make things disappear. I can talk to ghosts. So I've got this coin. <laughs> so I've, I've got this coin. So see, I gave you that. Nice try though. Uh, I can make things disappear. <laughs> oh wow, like what? Okay, so this ability seems pretty limited to food. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> oh God. So see, cat after my own heart, man. I can talk to ghosts. I can talk to ghosts? Well, one ghost. Well, what do they have to say? 
I'm gonna be honest, she's not being awfully polite. Oh! Sorry, Sosig, I'm going to need more concrete than that. Something more concrete than that. Is he- he's referring to Chuck, and I'm guessing- and is Chuck here now? Is Chuck, like, following him right now and, like, doesn't appear to anyone but him? Oh, is that why Min never- Oh! Is that why Min and the others never acknowledge Chuck? Because in- in the last game, if you remember, um, you- when you talk to Min, Chuck would always chirp in and say things, and Min never, like, you know, acknowledged her. And, uh, the same thing happened when you were with Exley and Hebel. Like, Chuck would s say things and wouldn't even, like, they wouldn't acknowledge Chuck's presence at all. They wouldn't even say hi. Oh! So, Chuck re okay, so Chuck can only be seen by Sosig. Interesting. Okay, so I just realized that. That just hit me. What are you doing? I'm trying to levitate the table. I is anything happening? I can't say I'm seeing anything. Damn! <laughs> This game is just awesome. I love it. I love this series, then. On second thought, I might need to work on it. I believe in you, Sweet Pea. Unlock that, unlock that latent psychic energy. <laughs> what you doing? Talk to you later. Okay. I already know what you're doing. So I gotta... So to get the earring, I have to use... Alright, well, let's use the lucky coin on the machine. With slot machine. Min did say it was lucky. Come on, big prize! Ooh, looks like I won something. It looks like some sort of token. And there was a beer mat in the prize tray, too. What? Oh. I got a pudding token. That's not a token. That's a ticket. But okay. I, well, maybe maybe British people call it a token. Do they call it a token? I don't know. Um, Sly Dove Stout. Octagon beer mat. Nice. Um, so I have to make him laugh. I have to steal... I have to get the earring from her. And... What was the third thing? Oh, demolish. I had to, like, straight up wreck something. I had to break something. Okay, um... There's a fireplace. Talk to the fireplace? No. You never know with these games. So warm! Okay. Look at the fireplace. A roasty, toasty fire! Toasty! Alright, um... A unicorn picture. Use it? Take it? If only I had claws! It's the cheeky unicorn! <laughs> It's so stunningly rendered, it takes my breath away. <laughs> this is it. I have to destroy it. What'd you say, Wiggles? Uh, n nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay, so I have to destroy the unicorn picture somehow. Um, or the hanging fern. I can hardly believe it. Kill me now. Kill me right now. <laughs> that pawn is so bad. Um, is there something at the other end of the bar, maybe? Because she says, I gotta demonstrate psychic abilities. Oh, there is another side of the bar. Okay. Here's a beer mat. Oh, hey! It's the cow! How do you end up in the bar? I don't know. Let's look at the beer mat. Looks okay to me. Okay, can I take it? Ooh, a beer mat! Okay, so I took it. Talk to the booze. I don't think it's very talkative. Use the booze! Hands off! Okay. Can I look at it? It's the beer handles. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I ought to leave it alone. I think it's treeing to sleep. Oh. <laughs> it's so, so sick, mate. Please stop. I'm going to make him Australian. <laughs> it's so sick. Please stop. The cow knows what everyone's thinking. Okay. Um, there's a door. There's coats. Talk to the coats. Uh, look at the coats. It's some coats. Okay, no shit. Okay, let's have a rummage here. Ha! Bingo! What, what did he get? We got somebody's driver's license. Oh, dear. Slide Dove Stout in Oh, dear. Is that an actual beer? That's awesome. Lanterns. Go look at the lanterns. Why not? Can't do anything with that door, can I? Ah, so pretty. Yeah, stare right into the light there, you yeah, dumbass. Look at the cow. It's cow! Looking good! Feeling fine. Take him. I don't think he likes to be touched. <laughs> hey, cow! What you doing? Hey, cow, what are you doing here? On me your own date, mate. 
Hey, sweet! She's wonderful and kind. And a real fox. She'll be here soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. When is she arriving? About uh, two hours ago. Ah. Yeah, I get the feeling I've been ditched. <laughs> it's not all bad, cow. Not all bad, man. It's not all bad, cow. How's it? Uh, you always have me. It's karaoke night. You can help me become a goblin. <laughs> you can help me become a goblin. It's like a dream come true. Be clear, cow. See ya. Okay, wait. So, was that all the dialogue? Wasn't there something else? Oh, I guess so. Damn it. Okay. Is there anything else I can get here? Can I do anything with the door? I don't... Yeah, I think I checked already, but I want to make sure that I... Ooh. Damn, the thing said the average session is like 15 minutes, but I guess I'm fucking stupid. Because <laughs> we are going on 16 minutes here, and I can't fucking figure out for the life of me. Okay, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a sign. Talk to the sign. Look at the sign. We want you, the Neighborhood Psychic Association. I don't think so, okay. There's a driver's license. Maybe I could, like... I don't know. I've got two beer mats and a pudding token. What if I, like, go get the pudding? Then I could destroy the unicorn, right? Um, use the pudding token on Hebel. Oh, those eggly... Oh, God, I, I forgot the voice. Oh, those eggsly thing. He's been dropping them in the slot machine. Because he's cheap and doesn't want to spit out actual money. Oh, okay, so since it's eggsly, I have to take it to him. What's this pudding token? Oh, you want a free dessert. Since when do you have desserts here? We're trying to be a little more classy. Emphasis on trying. Hey, speak for yourself. I do what I want. Oh yes, we are all well aware of that. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your dessert. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm guessing I use the pudding on the... No, go back! <laughs> use the pudding on the unicorn. And so I can smear it and mess it up. That's a nice looking pudding, though. I really want that. I'm so hungry right now. I don't think it would be in a big enough mess. Damn it! Spoon! In a pudding. Oh yes, load it up! Okay, so I got a spoon here. I don't think I will eat it. No, I don't. No, I wanted to make... I want to throw it on here. I don't think it will eat it. Okay. So what if I use the spoon with a meat? Loaded spoon with min. Nah, nah, you eat it. Okay. Apparently not. I don't think that's what... Okay. Beer mat. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna just keep combining things. Because I'm, I'm pretty shit at point and clicks anyway when it comes to combining items, so I'm just gonna keep on trying there, buds. See, see, just to make sure that I don't combine any of these. Can't do anything with the driver's license? Oh, it's Tui's driver's license! I just realized. Tui from the first game. It belongs to Tui. There you go. I don't think he wants to learn to drive. Okay. Spoon, nope. And the spoon, and the spoon, nope. Okay. Huh. So we need to destroy the unicorn, get the earring from her, and... What was the third thing? Be destructive. Sneaky and crafty. Wait, I, yeah, I need to ask them again what the thing was, because I forgot. Hey, Wiggles, how's it go? Um... Uh, do you have a pen? Hey, do you have a pen back there at all? I do. But I don't hand them out anymore. Everyone keeps borrowing them, and no one brings them back. That cow head. Well, at least I think it's cow. Borrowed my favorite marker. Ah, I see. Apple is awfully possessive of his marker pens. You don't get it. This one was my favorite one. No worries. No worries, I'll just get it from cow. Please do. Okay, so I have to get the pen from Cal. Okay, so I need to, like, ask him, though, like, what the third thing was. Because I know I gotta destroy the unicorn, and then I gotta get the earring, right? And say I stole it. Uh, no, 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 I have to... Damn it. I guess I have to talk to Exley for that. Hey, good evening. 
Okay, uh, tell me again about the three pillars, right? Uh, thievery, destruction, and tomfoolery. Oh, that's right, I have to make him laugh. Wait, I think I can do that. Maybe if I hit him with the spoon? I'm lactose intolerant, I'm afraid. Okay, maybe I can give the pudding to um, this guy. Because he's sad, because he got ditched. So maybe maybe Cal wants it. Or Well, let's ask him about the pen first. Uh, okay, Cal. Hint over. Cough it up. I know you have it. Hebel told me you borrowed it. You have it. I want it. What do I have? The marker pen. Hebel said you borrowed it from the bar. Oh, that? Yeah, I gave it to Min after I was done with it. So Min has it? Yeah. Go speak to the bat. Okay, well, let's see. Can I actually... So Min has the fucking thing. I swear. Motherfucker is about to lead me in circles. He lying to me. Lying. Lying motherfucker. Alright, wait for the camera to catch up here. Okay. So Min. Hey, Min. Okay. What are you doing about the earring? Have you got Hebel's marker? I did have it, but not anymore. What happened? So I was using it to test my telekinetic powers, during which I may have gotten angry and thrown it. Where'd you throw it? Can you grab me a beer first and I'll tell you? Hebel won't serve me because he says I'm causing a scene. Oh boy. He hasn't seen anything yet. <laughs> Fine, I'll grab you a pint. You are such a fit. Okay. God damn it, so I have to get a fucking... I gotta get a beer too? God damn it. Okay, so I'm I'm retarded, <laughs> clearly. Okay, I mean I'm making progress, but still, the wheels aren't spinning. I'm just clicking things. The wheels aren't spinning in my head yet as to what I'm supposed to do with this fucking pudding. Wait, maybe I show him the license? I'm just going to pretend I've seen nothing. What about Hebel? Does Hebel want the license? Maybe. Check it out. ID. Give me that. Hmm. It says your name is T- Oh god, no, he's Australian. Mm. Hang on, let me get it back to Brooklyn here. I was, I was thinking about Cal. Okay. This says your name is Tui. Yeah, it's my birth name. I hate it. You've got an awful lot of feathers in this picture. Yeah. I'm molting. I'm pretty sensitive about it, actually. It's all good, then. Enjoy your beer. Sweet. Alright, so I got the beer for men, then. I'm molting. That's that's good. I like that. Okay, talk to men. Uh, oh wait, I have to like tell her about the. I have to like hand her the beer. Oh look, I got a coaster with it too. A square beer mat. So I'm getting like different shapes. Does that could come in handy. I don't know. No, not it's min. We are going to earn that earring. Oh no, that's not it. No, beer min. There we go. Here you are, a frosty cold pint. Oh, my sweet angel. Thanks, Lucy. So, the marker pen? Oh, that? It shot behind the bar. Really close to where Hebel is stood, actually. It's, it's been behind the bar this whole time. Yep. Thanks for the pint. Oh, you manipulative batty bitch. How dare you? <laughs> okay. Hey, alright. Uh... Hebel, is the pen behind you? What? That's death! I'd have seen it! Wouldn't I? Oh. It, it's there, isn't it? Yeah, it was in the shot glass. Pretty cool shot! Can I have it now? Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, so now I use the marker to mess up the unicorn. This is it! Your time has come, unicorn! Beautiful. The work of a true goblin. What does it say? Trash donkey. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Okay, so what do I do now? Um, I still have a pen. Uh-huh. So maybe I... I don't know what to do with the freaking spoon. Feed it to cow. Oh, here we go. Jesus, I had to feed it to Cal. Wow, the one thing I wasn't trying. Okay. Okay, Cal, say ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, that was pretty good. Sorry about the spoon, though. Nah, problem. 
So the spoon's all bent. <gasps> oh! And I take it... Okay, I take the, the spoon back to her and, like, I bent the spoon with my mind! Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Look, man! Oh, my. How did you do this? With my mind! Oh, I just knew you could do it. Welcome to the association. Here you are. You make powerful goblin. Okay, so now I have the earring. But what about making them laugh? God, I, I wasted so much time with that spoon crap. Look what I got! She didn't even know I was there. Is this man's earring? The one and only. Damn, Wiggles, you are so... Yo, you did a Brooklyn accent. Damn, Wiggles, you are sly. Well, that's Thiever. He checked off. Okay, so I have to make him laugh. What if I juggle? Talk to him. All right, the three pillars. Tom Foolery. It's fairly simple. All you gotta do is make me laugh. Okay. So how do I make him laugh? What do I have at my disposal? I have, I have a pudding. Can I give him the pudding? I spent, all, I spent all yesterday making those. If you're lucky, you'll get the one I dropped my chewing gum in. Ew. Fucking nasty. Oh, but he was just talking about chewing gum. I thought you'd combine the, the pink marker with that to color the cherry, and then it would make chewing gum. So it'd be it'd be funny, because it'd be disgusting. I don't know anymore. I'm a broken man. I don't understand. Hands off. Okay. Pudding not interesting. So we can get another beer. Look, Abel. Looking good, Dewey. Such a shame about that awful molt you have going on. Well, Hebel, I'm hurt. <sighs> Octagon beer mats are useless. Damn it, I've tried, like, everything with everything at this point. My work here is done. Okay. Let's see here. Sly Dove sings live. Oh my gosh! Sly Dove is going to play the cheeky unicorn? Don't get too excited, Sosie. Look again. Oh, it's a look-alike. Let's hear. Lost anything in the bar? Come see Exley for the Lost and Found box. Ooh! Oh, I had to look at the posters to get more information. It's a wall covered in posters. Come see the circus. We just screwed a lion legally. Okay, it's just going to repeat this stuff. Okay. So now I need to look, I go to, go to Exley, and I can ask him about the lost and found, right? Hey! Good evening. Okay, tell me, about, tell me about the lost and found. Oh, I'll go get the box. Let's see what we have here. Box of fun, it says. It looks pretty empty, apart from a beer mat. Nah, I can't say that's mine. The lonely beer mat will meet someone one day. Oh wait, so does that mean I bring the beer mat to him now? Is it a time thing? Oh, but I can't click out during this. Wait, wait, maybe he said he's at the lonely beer mat, so what do I bring it to him? No? There's a lost and found box. And there's a beer mat. That's the only other beer mat. Like, come the hell on! Okay, wait. Maybe... Maybe Cow can help me again. Maybe I show him one of the beer mats. Hey, wow. What's that you got? What, the beer mat? Yeah, that, mate. I'll collect them. If you get me four beer mats in the set, I'll give you my lady killer juke. Since I won't be needing it tonight. Oh, that's so... F wow, that's so sad. Okay, I'll think about it. Wait. Okay, so now that I know I need the mat, I'll say that it's mine, right? 
I think I'm, I'm close, man. I'm close. God, I'm, God, I'm gonna have to cut out like half of this episode because it was just me wandering around. Oh man, the, like before the spoon thing. Is he lost and found again? Sure. Let's see. It's still just a spear mat. Oh yeah, a beer mat. That that's mine. What? Really? Yep, I love beer mats. Sure, here you are. Different strokes, I guess. Sweet, now I take the four mats to him, I get the joke, I tell it to Exley, and boom, we're a goblin, boys. <laughs> the shit I say when playing this game. Alright. Hey, cat. Oh, wait, no. I have to, like... I guess I have to combine them into a set now. Oh, wow. So sick, thanks. You sure like beer mats. I love them. Okay, so I have to give it to him. So now, see, the beer mats had a purpose. Yeah. Thanks, Stacy. I love seeing you smile. Aw, buddies. You are too good to me, mate. Oh. Wow, Stacy, thank you. That's all of them. Here, a promise is a promise. It's my famous lady killer joke. And with care. I'll treasure it, Cal. I know you will. Alright. The lady killer joke. Can I look at it? It looks dangerous. I should hand it to Exley. I'll keep it sealed. It's powerful. <laughs> Exley, I got a joke for you, buddy. Read it and weep. It's a joke. Go on, open it and have a read. Oh, give me one. Ooh, man. Doing that voice. Switching between all these voices, man. Does not help that it's fucking humid as shit in here right now. Okay, let's see here. Yes, yes. Okay, three fish. Oh, the wizard. Oh. That's why crabs walk sideways. <laughs> so, what do you think? That, that was the greatest joke I've ever read. I, I almost feel sad now. Knowing no joke could ever live up to that one. You passed on for three with flying colors. Well, I do believe that's all three pillars. You did it, Wiggles. Welcome to the club. Fantastic! When do I become a goblin? I'll go get the board. Oh, that was that was an actually that was Hebel. My mistake. Wiggles, you are gonna love this game. Oh god. Clever. Don't even let me see the fucking game. Journey to Goblin Ore. <laughs> there we go. The third most played goblin roleplay game. <laughs> the third. Not even the best goblin roleplaying game. No, the third. The third goblin roleplaying game. So does that mean in the future we could actually have like a like the actual game, Goblin Ore? Journey to Goblin Ore would be an amazing game. You could make it like a four-player co-op game and like each player would be one of the characters. Oh, that'd be funny as hell. Would it be a character in character? Be funny. Bye bye. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, that just that just went straight to that. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, I can't click on OBS for this. All right, but that is it for um. Uh, for Chuck and Sosig hit the club. It's not really Chuck and Sosig hit the club. It was really just Sosig hits the club because it was just Sosig the whole time. I didn't know where Chuck, Chuck was. I think Chuck might have been there, but nobody could see her. So, like, she just wasn't appearing. I don't know. Anyway, that is it for uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams. I'll see you guys in the next video. Reap the Ranger, signing off.